Okay, looking at a couple more from 15.2, composition of functions. Um, just kind of learning how this language works and what we need to do mathematically with it. But this, sometimes there's not quite as many parentheses here. You might see this problem about these, uh, these outer parentheses here writ written, um, but it can be written with them there also. But this is um, F composed with G of X. And sometimes you might see it written like this, you know, F composed with G of X, kind of like that. So that's another way to write that. Um, it's not red fog, it's F composed with G of X. So we're going to take the G of X function and put it inside the F of X function. So we take this function and put it inside this function. And so the way that looks then um, is we're going to think of, okay, we're inserting 2x minus 3 wherever we see an x. So since that's an x, we insert 2x minus 3. And so f composed with g of x is the square root of 2x minus 3. And that's it. There's nothing else we can do with it. Okay? It just sits like that. All right. Then taking a look at this one, we're going to compute g of negative 5. So we're going to put negative 5 in here. And so we'll do g composed of negative 5, um, or the input value of negative 5. We have 2 times negative 5 minus 3. That's negative 10 minus 3. And we get negative 13. Okay, so we're going to take that value since we know that's g of negative 5, and we're going to put that inside the f function. So putting that into the f function, we have f of negative 13 equals the square root of negative 13, which from a previous module we know is square root of 13i. Okay. And then here we're going to put f of x, the f of x function, inside g of x. So we know the f of x function is the square root of x. And so we're going to put the square root of x wherever we see an x. So we have 2 square root of x minus 3. And that's, that's the answer there, 2 square root of x minus 3. So remember, this could have been written out also. You might have seen this written out this way. Uh, you could have seen G composed with F of X using that uh, small composed symbol. Right. And then this last one here, we're going to first calculate F of 25. So we could do F of 25 is equal to the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. And then that's our value that we're going to put inside of the g function. Well, the g function, the g function is 2 times whatever the input value is, minus 3, and we get 10 minus 3 equals 7. Okay. So you remember, they can be written out slightly different ways, but usually we do this first function put inside, or this function put inside the first one, okay? And so maybe drawing the arrows in sometimes will help you out, okay?